Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. I don't want this lecture series to be as detailed and as abstract as the series of lectures of massively parallel processing supercomputing that I gave in the early 1990s and gave to supercomputer scientists. In the early 1990s, I was appointed as the distinguished speaker of the Association for Computing Machinery. In the early 1990s, I was appointed as the distinguished visitor of the Computer Society of the IEEE, the acronym for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The IEEE is the largest technical society in the world. I lectured in American universities for the IEEE and I lectured on massively parallel super-processing, super-computing. I was appointed for a super-computer lecture tour and as a distinguished speaker of the Association for Computing Machinery. That association was the premier society for computer professionals. I lectured on how and why extreme scale problems in algebra could be solved across a new internet that was defined and outlined by an ensemble of 64 binary thousand commodity of the shelf processors that we are identical to each other and that we are equal distances are far and apart from each other. I don't want this lecture series to be too abstract for non-mathematicians watching it online. For that reason, I described the partial differential equations that I invented in prose rather than impartial derivatives. Nor do I want my lectures to sound like lectures on how to solve the quadratic equation of algebra and how to solve the partial differential equations of calculus. In my 1980s research lectures, I emphasized my theoretical process over my experimental discovery of how to compute faster and emphasize my research over my invention and over my constructive reduction to practice that reduced my global network of 65,536 processors to my small copy of the internet. Yet, in another sense, my lectures were calculus lessons that we are beyond calculus lessons. That we are the culmination of my 16 year long mathematical quest for how to solve the partial differential equations of my new calculus that encoded the laws of motion of physics. The calculus not known was how to derive on the blackboard closed form solutions to those system of coupled nonlinear and time dependent partial differential equations the calculus known was how to derive on a single motherboard the numerical solutions to the algebraic partial difference approximations of those system of coupled nonlinear and time-dependent partial differential equations. The calculus known was how to solve 
those partial differential equations on the motherboard, but solve them with infinite time to solution. The calculus not known was how to solve those partial differential and difference equations and solve them across my new internet. I visualized that new internet as a global network of 65,536 commodity processors or as a global network of as many identical computers. I tried to keep the contents of my lectures straightforward. I gave videotaped lectures of what I discovered and invented. I explained my visions, my struggles, and my eureka moments. My scientific lectures differ from daily classroom teachings of a body of scientific knowledge that was discovered over the past five millennia of recorded history that dates back dates to the era of the pyramids in Africa. I want you to experience my scientific lectures in a manner that is both visceral and larger than life. Insightful and brilliant lecture.